Minneapolis uh, County. We can only screen you for acceptance into that court if we know that you're a veteran beforehand. All right. Let me see uh, James Lane, please. So they're obviously not in alphabetic order. It's the state of South Dakota and city of Sioux Falls versus James Lane. Mr. Lane, you are here on a couple of cases in criminal file 223968. You are charged with entering or refusing to leave property after notice, a class one misdemeanor, and disorderly conduct, a class two misdemeanor. You're here because you missed a pretrial conference. Looks like last week with Judge Warnchus. When you missed that date, he issued a warrant for you. In mag file 222364, you're making your initial appearance on a charge of entering or refusing to leave property after notice. That one is a class two misdemeanor, punishable by up to 30 days in jail and or a $500 fine. You missed your initial appearance on that back in June and again in July. And then in mag 222519, you have a city ordinance violation of disturbing the peace, punishable by a fine. Me, you missed that same pretrial conference last week with Judge Warnchus on that one. Yeah, uh, do you understand those charges and why you're here on them today, Mr. Lane? Yes, sir. Uh, I was informed that you probably did not want to have an attorney represent you. Is that correct? That's correct. And I was told that uh, you wanted to plead he's guilty. Is that accurate? Nice yes, sir. One, isn't he? Yes, Quinn Levin, making Mr. sure he's Lane, being heard. Guilty. How would you propose? To Your Honor, Minnie, haha, uh -huh. which is where this is. This is a little. Hi, Miss Joe. Because he has some I see you in my chat. Pending. Um, where these were if you can hear me dismissed with a package I'm not sure the best plea. position for this mic I guess because I don't want it to pick up my um, I just okay I've got to stop, stop it picking up my breathing so Mr. Lane uh, apparently Let's the put it there. Uh, how's that can you hear what me now? the state's attorney is saying is you have some other cases where you have an attorney these two uh, particular cases along with the city ordinance apparently uh, they had, okay. was there a plea agreement reached or was that Ms. just Joe, a proposal? I don't, Welcome. I think it's proposed at this point. So apparently the, the state had blocked. made an offer to I your attorney and I don't know blocked, where now. those cases are I'm along the, blocked. in the I'm schedule, but apparently the state's attorney had made an offer to your attorney yeah, wherein these two cases would likely mouth, be dismissed so if you pled guilty to something else. Obviously, Sorry, you don't I'm have an attorney on these so two. It's up to you. Um, but it sounds like the state maybe was willing to dismiss these so people uh, with some other pleas on some other cases where you do have an Michelle. attorney. Um, oh, if Alex you wanted to think about yelling? that, we could schedule this to go at the same time as those other cases. Bingo, and then Bobby just Bear talk about is your bond, but it's entirely Navy. up to you, Mr. Lane. Would I, would I be allowed a PR bond? Well, I haven't decided that yet, but. But it's no guarantee uh, that you would on these other ones either, so. Right, let's see who's in my but chat. But it's up to you, however you'd like to handle that. Chat. Uh, what are my Fever, options? To well, if you to wanted to plead laws. guilty, no one Jeremy. can stop you from doing that. So Internet if that's what you'd God. like to do, we'll do that. If you wanted Auditron. to, Auditron. given the information that I passed on to you, if Change you wanted to, five, five, to just five. talk about bond, uh, we could do that too. Internet God. No, I just seem to be guilty. Sancho. Okay. Bingo, Bobby Bear. Tom Peters. If he pleads guilty to the class one Mick trespass, Love. then 3968, Big I'll D. dismiss 2364. Okay. How about Joe, the city? Of course. Heather, uh, disturbing peace. Heather Holt. Um, is it out Welcome of you all. The same one as the class one misdemeanor. I would dismiss it. So, Mr. Sorry. Lane, if you choose to plead guilty today, the state will Big ask sir, you to plead guilty of the Class uh, 1 misdemeanor L, trespass. In return, they would I've dismiss um, the disorderly conduct, the Class 2 trespass, and the disor uh, disturbing the peace. Is that what you'd like to do? Yes. Mr. Lane, you were here Community when I advised Leo you of your watch. constitutional and statutory rights. Is that correct? Yes. Did you hear and understand those rights? Yes. I watch Any your questions channel. about any of them, sir? Community no. You understand like that if you choose to plead guilty today, you would give up the rights I explained? Yes. And you understand this charge and the maximum penalty? Yes. Understanding yes. everything you and I have discussed, you still want to plead guilty? Yes. Yes. The charge that you, James Lane, in Minnea County, South Dakota, on or about June 20th, 2022, committed the public offense of criminal trespass and that you did, knowing you weren't pr uh, privileged to do so, entered and remained <coughs> at a place pie. described as the Child's Play Nick Toy Store at 233 South uh, Phillips Avenue, Sioux Falls, Minnea County, South Dakota, 
or notice against As trespass say, was given by actual communication to you. I don't object if you go and watch Navy and the stream. In I have to leave personally description, communicated to you by the owner and other authorized uh, person so in violation of South Dakota law. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Guilty. May anyone guilty. force you, threaten you, or promise you anything to make you plead guilty, Mr. Lane? No. no. So on that day, June 20th, 2022, were you at that uh, store on Phillips Avenue? Yes. In Falls, Minneapolis? Yes. One of the employees tell you you'd have Pups to leave. Will and be yes. Yeah. Afternoon. All right. And you don't have another reason that you're allowed to be there, right? No. Find your plea is voluntary, knowing, and intelligent. Facts I think that's all for in the book. Mr. Look. Lane guilty of the trespass. Other charges are dismissed? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Lane, would you like to be sentenced on this today? Yes. Well, yes. Use recommendation. <laughs> Credit for time served, Your Honor. We, it's more suspended. We got a good one here. We really do have a good one here. Child's play toys as a condition of sentence. Mr. Lane, do you have anything that you'd like to say? No. No. Let's see. It looks like you've been in jail since Friday. Yeah. Yes. Oh, sorry. I paused it. Oh, dear. Whoops. Okay. Let's catch right. Yeah. Okay. All right. In your case, then, Mr. Lane, I'm going to impose 60 days in the county jail, suspend 58 of them, give you credit for two days served. The 58 days are suspended on the condition you have no like offenses, no trespassing offenses. Well, Those he's going home two today. Years, I also the no same contact with, with the Child's Play purchase. Toys Store on North Phillips Avenue in Sioux Falls for a period of one year. Uh, do you understand those conditions? Yes. Uh, no fine, ninety-six fifty in court costs, credit for the third day served. Uh, you're not going to owe anything else on this case then? Thank you. All right. Thank you. Well, he was quite a fun one. High North Sat Maniac. Are we not going to get an Marlon High. I hope they're all as good as him. Last he week. was brilliant. I sometimes watch some of these court streams, you know, just there's various YouTubers that do these court streams all the time. Oh, if it just didn't get and he was, he was a pretty was good one, anybody? that was. <laughs> yes! Oh, there goes Navin. Oh. Navin's picked it up. All right, I've lost uh, the live chat on Rodriguez. Navin's again. Where is it? There it is. They would like to find you. South Dakota versus Esteban Rodriguez, Ms. Yes, that's fine. Yes. On 225055. Looks to me like the aggravated assaults in two and counts two and three are in the alternative. Um. And the simple assaults were in the alternative. Herrera. Or no. Yes. Okay. Yep, that is correct. All right, Mr. Rodriguez, you are here on a couple of cases. In criminal file 223716, you are here making your initial appearance on charge of obstructing a law enforcement officer, jailer, or firefighter. That is a class one misdemeanor, punishable by up to one year in jail and or a $2,000 fine. You're here on that because you failed to appear at your initial so appearance same, we'll back FTP in June. Be lost when you on missed the list. that court well, who data warrant went up your arrest, and that's been served on you, so that's why you're here on that one today. Okay, uh... Do, do you mind if I ask questions while you're going? Cause this is my third time here, and I didn't understand the previous judge when she was trying to explain these. Okay. No, we haven't uh, had so FTP yet. One, huh? I mean, you have a question about that one? Yeah, so when I was here last time, she Maybe told me that, that obstruction of justice was due to the case that I was arrested on on whatever date I came in, saying that because of the altercation I had, I had somehow caused an inconvenience to the officer. It's from um, June 7th of 2022. Okay, so obstruction of justice for not showing up to court. Can you tell me how that's obstruction? It's not for not showing up for court. You got arrested on a warrant for not showing up for court. I don't know what the factual allegations are that give rise to the charge itself, but you were scheduled to appear in court. You got a PR bond on it originally after you were arrested, sweet, uh, and they gave you an initial appearance date of June 27th, and they expected you to be back for court, and you didn't come back to court. So when you missed court, the judge issued a warrant for your arrest, and now you've been arrested on that warrant, so that's why you're appearing on that today. So did you did did you not just say that my obstruction of justice was for not showing up to court? No, you said that. I said that you uh, were served with a warrant on that charge. Is there any way we could? Are, are we? Is there somebody notarizing this? Is there a way we can check the script? Because I'm pretty sure that's what I heard. 
Well, we can get if you're interested in getting a transcript of this proceeding, your attorney can help you with that. We are recording everything, so we're making a record of everything we say. So okay, this is so, the second. Um, j just a heads up, I asked uh, to be able to contact my attorney, um, and I asked for a legal pen and paper and uh, uh, provisions to get the address, and those weren't provided. Um, so far, actually, you don't have an attorney yet, Mr. Rodriguez. I have, I have an, an attorney on retainer. Okay, I don't know who that is. But. It's none of your business who it is. <laughs> the problem is I was doing 4900 South Minnesota as the address to my attorney, which is this address. <laughs> We've had two what good ones. What is this address? 4900 South Minnesota is the receiving mailing address for the state, for the jail here. Yes, it is. I don't think that's correct, but at any rate, we're getting ahead of ourselves here. Do you understand the charge that I've explained to you in the maximum penalty? I understand that I'm in jail. <laughs> well, that's different, but... You seem to understand, so I'm going to move on to the next case, Mr. Rodriguez. In criminal file 225055, you're making your initial appearance on several charges. Count one is aggravated assault by strangulation. That is a class three felony punishable by up to 15 years in prison and or a $30,000 fine. Jesus in counts Christ. two and three, you are charged with two alternative counts of aggravated assault against a different individual. Uh, aggravated assault, again, is a Class three felony punishable by up to 15 years in prison and or a $30,000 fine. When I say that the charges are in the alternative, that means that the state could attempt to prove you guilty under two different subsections of the aggravated assault statute, but even if convicted of both counts, you could only receive one penalty or one punishment for those. Then in counts four, five, and six, you are charged with three alternative counts of simple assault. Simple assault is a Class one misdemeanor punishable by up to one year in jail and or a $2,000 fine. Same explanation as far as alternative goes. Even if uh, uh, convicted of each, you could only face one penalty or one punishment for those. You should understand that simple assault is an enhanceable misdemeanor, meaning if convicted of that offense three times in 10 years, the third can become a class six felony. And then in count seven, you face a charge of disorderly conduct. That is a class two misdemeanor, punishable by up to 30 days in jail and or a $500 fine. And then lastly, you have a ticket for fleeing from a uniformed officer on foot that's a city ordinance violation punishable by a fine and court costs only. That one you were also scheduled to make your initial appearance back on June 27th. Uh, you missed that court date, and when you did, a warrant went out for your arrest. So you're scheduled for that one at the same time as the obstructing. So that's why you missed uh, why a warrant was issued for that so, uh, case. Can I ask a couple questions? Of course. So on counts two and three of the aggravated assault, is there something recorded of two circumstances where I got into an altercation with somebody? Because the same name was listed for two and three after one That's interaction. Correct. There. So that what, when I tried to, uh, and maybe I didn't do a very good job of it, when I explained that they are alternative counts, the state is not alleging that that is uh, two courses of conduct. They're just saying that you violated the aggravated no, no, assault statute we in had, two uh, different ways. So that's Mr. why I say Mark that Burgess, it's alternative yeah. counts. Even if convicted of both, you could only face one penalty or one punishment because the state is not alleging that it's two courses of conduct just that your conduct violated two subsections of the statute uh, that uh, provides aggravated assault in South Dakota. So you're saying that I'm getting charged twice for the same crime? No. Uh, so let me just specifically read to you the complaint for those three counts, and maybe no. that'll help out a little bit. Count okay. one says that on Ju July 27th, 2022, uh, the state alleges that you committed aggravated assault in that you attempted to induce uh, fear of death or imminent bodily uh, harm by impeding the normal breathing or circulation or the blood of another person, Jeffrey Sullivan, by apply, applying pressure on the throat or neck of that person or by blocking the nose and mouth of that person. That's one. Uh, that was count one. Then That's a heavy two charge. Three, which are the alternative counts. Those involve a different individual named Alan Standing Soldier. Count two uh, claims that you Standing knowingly soldier caused, sounds caused like a Native American Alan Standing name Soldier to Standing Soldier with me. a dangerous weapon, a knife. Count three says that you attempted by physical menace with a deadly I weapon. I do and like some of the Native Alan American surnames. I think they're very harm. So the state the is alleging thing. not that you did Very, um, two different things to word? Alan Standing Soldier. They're saying that your conduct I came violated a, two uh, subsections of the aggravated Mr. assault Walking statute. Stick the other day. So how is it that you're charging me with two different things under the same charge? I'm, I'm, Rebels. Well, court. I'm not charging you with anything, first of all. Rebel uh, has court Rodriguez, tomorrow. I'll have to check with Alex to see if she knows about South that. Dakota that is charging you. But do, do you find it valid? Because, I mean, you could throw them out. Because I don't find him valid, and I don't think you do, you do either. Certainly I can't. I, I, I mean, if he's got an attorney, does. he should just well, shut the judge? fuck up. I am. Okay. 
So you don't know how to do your job? <laughs> you wanna maybe come back tomorrow, Mr. Rodriguez? I mean, we can try for a yes. fourth. Say yes. Well, that's up to you. We can only get this case started as long if we can make it through this process. Your 15-day preliminary hearing hasn't started yet because you haven't been able to stay civil throughout the court proceedings. At least that's my understanding. I wasn't here last week, so I don't know how it went. But we're not off to a great start right now. So definitely not. I would we're encourage us to get through this proceeding so that your preliminary hearing right can get started. I think the worst part for me is that I haven't been served papers on any of these charges, and I've been in jail for five days. Okay. Well, typically you wouldn't be served with any sort of papers. So I haven't been charged with anything. About. You don't. So you don't charge people after a seventy-two hour hold. No, you've been charged. It's so just, where's my papers? I, I don't know what papers you're talking about. The papers that say I'm being charged. This is this is the advising of you being. This charged. This is my arraignment for charges that I've never received. Are you fucking retarded? <laughs> That's it. He's out. Thank you for playing the game, buddy. You're out of here. I think that's I don't think do so is well. the answer to that. But. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. at least we're having we'll some... try Mr. Rodriguez I'm again. I'm sorry if I just hid someone. I didn't mean to. Huh? Christian?